story B. Check it out, Ben. Take care. Oh, John, you look beat. What happened? I have, I am. Allie Chambers, a small-time hood, trying to work into the big league. They found him stuffed in the trunk. Dead? Fatally. What's up? I want to talk to you about Dan Gray. Oh, the genius? Mm-hmm. Tell me something, Herb. How do you manage to get involved in these things? You won't believe this, but I was waiting for an elevator. You bet I won't believe it. Now, what's with the genius? Did you know that he gave that exploding golf ball to Lockley? Of course. Why do you think he's in jail? No, I mean he gave it to him on the golf course. Oh, gave it to him on the golf course, which means that nobody would be nutty enough to wait around for it to explode. Which means that somebody else gave it to Gray. Which means we're going to have to start looking for a third party. Why didn't Gray tell us? He was teaching you a lesson. He was teaching us a lesson? He was mad at you for thinking that he killed Lockley. He was mad at us? Why do you keep repeating everything I say? Oh, Herb, you're a man about town, a bon vivant, a raconteur. Tell me something. Ask questions, that's the only way you learn. Well, what's with this guy? You said it. He's a genius. Yeah, well, uh, I'll check him out in the morning. i got to get back to the office. I've got a terrible feeling that I'm going to be up all night. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. Herb, if you get any more goodies, don't call. Uh, don't worry. I have a very attractive dinner date, and I'm not going to ruin it by working. Yeah. See ya. Harris. Linda. You know Lieutenant Weston? Yes, how do you do, Lieutenant? This does. Is something wrong? A little while ago, an attempt was made on my life. Are you serious? Very. Can you account for your time tonight, Miss Dodds? Well, of course. I was home all evening. I had some things to do here. And... Right after it happened, I made several phone calls. One to Ned Stevens. He was home. One to Gloria Lockley. She was home, too. Then I called you. There was no answer. You didn't get home fast enough. But that's ridiculous. I was here. I was probably in the shower. It won't work, Miss Dawes. The building manager said you came in about ten minutes ago. Well, he's lying. Once we start digging, we'll find somebody who will place you at the scene, a newsboy or maybe a cab driver. Did you take a cab, Miss Dawes? What are you looking for, Lieutenant? This. I don't suppose anything I say will be of any help, will it? I'm afraid not. You did kill Lockley, didn't you? Yes, but you were right. I meant it for Dan. I wouldn't have hurt Mr. Lockley for the world. But why Dan? Do you know how much it takes out of a woman to be even halfway successful, Mr. Maris? Where I come from, the wrong side of the tracks isn't just an expression. I was born there. Couldn't Dan see what was happening? For a brilliant man, Dan isn't very bright. I pleaded with him to quit, to, to take his formula someplace else. He finally got up enough gumption to ask for the release from his contract. And? Well, Dan isn't exactly a tower of strength. Mr. Larkley talked him out of the idea. Gloria won. How did Gloria win? Well, Dan was here the night before it happened. And he was very apologetic, but what it boiled down to was that he felt our marriage would be a mistake. That we were mistaking friendship and affection for love. The kind of love he felt for Gloria. And he was leaving me to go back to her. Linda, why didn't you just let him go? You still don't understand, do you? I love him, Mr. Maris, and I need him. And if I can't have him, nobody can. All right, Miss Dawes, get some clothes on. We're going to get down to him. I don't think so. That gun won't help, Lieutenant. This lipstick holder was soaked in Dan's compound. And if I should drop it... You're bluffing. You think so? Why don't you tell him about our little demonstration, Mr. Maris? If she's telling the truth, Lieutenant... There wouldn't be enough of us left to identify. How far do you think you'll get? As long as I have this, a good distance, I imagine. 
Now, gentlemen, please don't do anything to startle me. I wouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Better not, John. Now, gentlemen. She was bluffing. Well, Mr. Oz, the fun and games are over. Suppose we go now, huh? Lieutenant, do you have a family? Why? May I suggest you be very careful with that? I wasn't bluffing. After you, Lieutenant. And please, don't stumble. You know, there was enough stuff on that lipstick of Linda's to blow up City Hall. You sure you want to hit that golf ball?